All right, guys, like we talked about, this is the new drain. Fits right there. And it's gonna replace this. These are very inadequate, as you can see. Look, it's full, okay? So they get crap in them, and what happens, the fridge can't drain. So this is your drain tube. And during a normal defrost, cycle the refrigerator drips water down here water gets pushed into this pan gets evaporated from the heat from the compressor blah 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 everything's good you always have some kind of accumulation but these are very ineffective nothing passes through them as you can see and then what happens the water instead of flowing it starts to back up goes all the way up there and eventually has to go somewhere ends up in your refrigerator on the floor it's annoying. The kit includes another one. I don't recommend you use it unless you don't have anything else. You don't want to leave that open like that. It's just an open gate of hot air to continue destructive forces. Ah. And this will go over this guy. He will sit just like this. Um, sometimes you do have to trim just a little bit off. All right, guys, we're back. So we are going to use a hacksaw. Okay, small one, fits in there good. Sometimes you might have to remove this cord. As you can see, it's kind of in the way. So makes your life a little easier. Two tabs, pops out. Make that one. Okay, it's right here on the top. Pulls right out. That's out of your way. I'll be blocking your view. Now, how much should you cut? Right? It's about three quarter to inch and three quarters. It's not that big of a deal, but a good way of figuring that out is okay. Now. You have it like that, okay? So what you wanna do, where the black sits, okay? About halfway there. So right there, okay? And that's gonna give you perfect position. So if you count those notches, one, two, three, four, about where the fifth one is, right there, is where you need to cut. Because that's gonna put the bottom of this tube about right there in the center and that will give you your protection and I'll explain a little bit about the p-trap and how they work and why they're effective so let's cut hopefully this is you can see it so we said one two three four five and while you're cutting make sure you hold it you don't want to put a lot of strain on this. So you just hold it and secure it. You don't want to use anything like a knife or anything that can, you know, cut yourself. There's not a lot of room to do the cut. So you want to make sure you have something that is going to give you good cut and not too much. Uh, crushing so now you want to make sure you don't have a lot of these sticking in there again as water is falling you want to make sure it's free to flow and nothing restrictive because over time you will have bacteria whatever it just builds up or mold or whatever it's it's, it's harmless but it's just it could eventually cause backing up but you don't want to have any of that now this is your p-trap very effective whirlpool's been using these for a long time not sure why they started using these i guess cheaper but so now time to slide this thing on and 
and you can you can move this a little bit to give you a little bit of leverage or room and you just slide her up wiggle and push and that's it okay now you have your P trap and that's it so water comes down and you see how it's shaped you see the S so the idea behind this is you have a P trap so you are always gonna have a layer of water there and that's protecting the freezer from air being migrated so it's hot here so air can't pass through water so that's a barrier so bam that's your seal this section is done and we're gonna to move to the front of the fridge we're gonna change some hinges which are out of alignment all right thank you for watching